Okay, so Kim Kardashian is facing some backlash over wearing Marilyn Monroe's iconic dress to the Met Gala. Kim borrowed the dress from Ripley's Believe It or Not. Kim said she had to lose 16 pounds in three weeks in order to fit into the gown. But a fashion history professor is criticizing the move, saying wearing the dress was, quote, irresponsible and unnecessary, and that such an iconic piece of American history should not be at risk just for an ego boost and a photo op. But the head of Marilyn's estate says he believes Marilyn would have been thrilled to see Kim rock in the gown at the Met Gala. What do you think of the criticism, America? I think it's a deflection from what everybody else is talking about today. Mm. Well, because Ray J certainly said that he I was know. in bed with uh, Kim, her mama, and Vivid Entertainment, and that the whole thing was all orchestrated a billion dollars later. Oh. That's the yeah. two Kim K story well, I didn't today. Hear that. No, that, I didn't I'm sorry. That. I hate to break it to y'all, but that's what you the story is. You broke it to yes. two of, two, the two dudes here, too. No, but. Eric, I saw it. He is alleging that Kim and Chris were in, partnered with him in order to get that release of the video. That's not been confirmed, but that yes. is what Ray J is saying. Um, what did you think? Go <laughs> we will follow up tomorrow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, what did you think about her wearing this iconic dress? I Five million it, dollar dress. I thought it was the best part of the Met Gala, and I don't even like really pay attention to that. I right. thought that was such a cool idea to take a piece of American history that iconic and put it on an icon today. Kim Kardashian, for whatever you think she is, whatever she put that video on herself or not, she's a smart, she's a business lady, she's an icon. I thought that was super cool. They didn't ruin it. They took it off right after she took those photos. And then, first of all, what's this guy's name? Professional history <laughs> Professor dresser? Right? Yeah. yeah no. Take it easy, guys. I think sometimes you can just address I mean, from the past. It's kind of cool to see. It's an interesting thing and we can all move on. And I wonder, I I would love to ask this professor, because he seems to really care about this dress, would we be talking about this if it wasn't for Kim Kardashian, or would it be it's in a, a nice point. closet if it was else. somewhere else? We would not, or just no one wore it. I have a different take completely. Talk to me. The professor says that she was irresponsible, unnecessary, and unnecessary. I don't think this dress is irresponsible and unnecessary, but her promoting a crash diet bothers me. It bothers me how it just slipped off her tongue, how it was no big deal. Yeah, I lost 15 pounds in three weeks, and then I had to go eat hot dogs and donuts with Pete after the fact. I don't like that type of promotion. If you're going to say that you did some sort of crash diet and you're going to be transparent about it like she is, fine. But the way, the tone of her voice, almost laughing about it, worries me considering how many young girls do that same thing for prom or for whatever it may be. It's not healthy. What about fighters? But yeah, wrestlers. Those, a lot of people have to make weight, but also, no, Sam, don't we, we can't ask for gloss over that. Like, I'm, I'm not. I'm going to ask you a direct question about okay, that. Okay, go ahead. We're, we're, we do ask for transparency from our entertainers, and when somebody does give a real answer, even if we didn't like how we, they gave it, does that then give us? Are we then allowed to criticize how they delivered it? If it is a real thing, where she was like, and I think a lot of people that get married and want to fit in their tux or their dress will say, "Hey, I went on a crazy diet for the last month. Not healthy at all." I yeah, think but we they know don't that, have but they don't have 130 million or whatever followers that she has of young girls that literally look to her. I'm not saying that, that, that they should choose to have her be their role model. And there's a lot of wonderful things that Kim Kardashian does. Look what she does for prison reform. I'm not right. knocking it. But if I, it rubbed me the wrong way as a mother. And I just know that young girls already struggle with their bodies and their weight. And Kim's body is very manufactured. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest here. Right. If we're going to be real, let's be real. It's not an easy body to attain unless you have resources. I'll just leave right, it at that. Right. And it bothered me. But it, well, I mean, well, I will say this as somebody who has lost 35 to 40 pounds in three months, like each time. And I did this for five years when I was competing in fitness competitions. It took me years to regulate my body. I still struggle and I never had struggles before mm -hmm. I started that type of extreme exercise and diet so there is another side to that and I want people to be very aware of it that what you're doing for this moment could have lasting effects for years to come that's what I wish I would have heard I I'm just, just saying I, there's a responsibility with her platform in my opinion yeah but she had to do that in order to fit in this dress because there couldn't be alterations made to it right then she should have worn that dress or no but that's what she wanted to so do I, I disagree I think that's something that she committed herself to right she wanted to lose that weight 16 pounds is a lot different than 35 I will in three say weeks, that. 16 pounds in three weeks is not healthy. Talk to a fighter. Well, you know what I mean? It, and that you can't shame fighters. That's what they have to do. I, She's doing this to do what she has I to do. I see that as two different things. I see fighting as blood, sweat, and tears as an art and also as a sport. I don't see fitting into a dress as a sport. I think she Big saw it difference. as art, though. 
I don't think it's healthy. That's just no, my I opinion. I think we all agree it's not it's a, healthy. I don't think that's a, a good, if you want to explain it the way Erica does, totally fine. If you want to act like it's fun and no big deal, that worries me. You got to follow up with a statement that this is what I chose to do and I don't recommend it. There should be a disclaimer when it comes to Kim Kardashian considering 130 million or whatever people, how many people follow her by the way, if Emily's here? I think it's like almost like 200 million. It's ridiculous. So I think unfortunately with her platform, she's got to have disclaimers with things like that. If it's unfair, you can say that I'm being unfair. That's fine. 207 million. 307 yeah, don't million. Don't take 100 million followers from her. Wow. That's mind blowing wow. to me. 307 million people. Got it.